Yeah, there are certain things that you just turn to dad for. And sure. it might not be advice or just an experience mm -hmm. or something. The car buying one is definitely one of those. Over the years, myself, my sisters, is just, right. and you know what? My dad has been in sales for a while, too. So sometimes you just need to go in there with someone else who's got your back going, listen, I know the deal right. here. This is how we're going to do it. Yeah, right. let, let's cut past all this mumbo sure. jumbo. And uh, let's make sure that everything's being fair. But right. I think any time, yeah, anything, anytime it's like that related or um, you know, some sort of like, yeah, paperwork, health care sort right. of he thing. Knew, I'm confused. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. And then obviously anything sports related. If right. there's something going on, I'll either shoot him a text or I'll call him and go, mm. did you see who got traded or did you see what happened? Right. And, you know, it's, you, you want to call your dad. There are those moments sure. where you're like, I got to get dad on the phone. Right. I got to talk right. to him about this. Absolutely. I mean, for me, it was always if something was broken. Yep. He knew how to. He would be the one who was there oh, to okay. to be able to take care of it and be able to fix it. When I would go to buy a car, he was the one to come with me to mm -hmm. to go buy the car. And even now, I say to myself, I was saying it this morning. I always ask myself, okay, when something happens, when something goes bad, yeah. when something breaks, or when something you know is going on, I'm like, all right, what would Dad do? What would Dad do? Yeah. And I was saying, I get in, I get even the kid's car. And the thing's on empty. Mm -hmm. And it drives, first of all, it drives me berserk because it used to drive him crazy. And now I get in the car and I'm like, what would dad do? And I'm like, I know what dad would do. Dad yeah. would take the car and he would bring it to the gas station and he would fill the tank with gas mm -hmm. and put it back and never say anything. Right. So what do I do? I take the car, I go to put gas in it and I wheel it back in again. There are certain things you like go to dad for, you, you learn from dad. There was in, in middle school, the boys teams would you know dress up and they'd wear button downs and ties mm -hmm. when they'd have an away game and one game we decided to do the same well let's wear some ties so you know it's early in the morning and I have to go into my parents I wake up my dad and can you teach me how to tie a tie yeah. and I thought he was going to be so mad because here I am like waking right. him up he I remember his reaction he turned and kind of smiled and giggled and said Absolutely, of because course. with four daughters, he probably never thought, well, let me teach them how sure, to tie a tie. Right. And I forever remember how to tie that tie, yeah. and, and that was just like such a fun memory, but that was something that I liked. I had to turn to, to him and right. say, can you teach me how to do this? And now I've always known yeah. how to do it. I say it all the time, like when, you, when your dad or with your mom, eh, your kids grow up so quick, mm -hmm. it's within a blink of an eye, so every second, no matter whether they're driving you crazy or not, every second, it's like, okay, they're here. Those little things be might. Be involved because, yeah, there'll come a day where mm -hmm. you may not even remember it, you know? Right. Or you're going to be talking about them right. 30 years yeah. down the road. Right. Uh, Brendan, what's that one thing that you, you got to talk to your dad about? Well, you, stuff with the house usually. If something's yeah, going okay. on, I'll call him up and be like, hey, this is, I think he likes it because it's like, oh, yeah, swoop into action. Needed. Sure. Exactly. Yeah. Superhero. And he's really good at handling stuff like that. And also anything financial, like Michaela, you were saying with regard to, you know, the health care, things like that. Mm. Don't really understand all of those things. And I'm learning because of him. Right. He's yeah. able to help me navigate because I can't do anything. But one of the greatest things is he is like a human hurricane when it's time to buy a new car. <laughs> he swoops into that dealership like nothing you've ever seen. Awesome. And I'll take you back to 2005 when I was buying my first car. And he came in and it, <laughs> it turns out that the salesman was a student of his years ago. The guy, we'll call him Carl, I don't remember what his name was, was petrified. He goes, that's your dad? That, Mr. Kirby? I said, oh, yes. No. Oh, and he, he just laid it down. And I, I got uncomfortable because he's like really letting this guy have it. And right. you know, he goes way back with him. And I was getting uncomfortable. And <laughs> my dad goes, Brendan, it's your money, and they want it. <laughs> he's right. He is right. He's right. And it's then one, one time, quickly, another car salesman was trying to tell us about like some. He had just become a grandfather, and he looks at my brother and goes, "Kevin, I don't care that that man just became a grandfather. We're here to buy a car." <laughs> He's fantastic, and I've carried that with me. Well, what do our social media friends turn to dad for? Let's find out what they had to say. Priscilla Paquin is up first today sharing in part, whenever we had a car problem, we went to dad. He could fix anything automotive. Happy Father's Day. There you go. Dad's always usually love talking cars. Similarly, Dennis Weiner echoes in part, I would always consult him for mechanical advice, automobiles, etc. My sons now ask me, and that is a great feeling of pride that I too am passing something down. That's a lovely sentiment. And lastly, Carl Butler shares in part, I mainly went to my dad for help when I was younger, such as the times I needed a personal loan to cover my expenses, and sometimes I sought his advice for educational purposes just for school. There you go. It's a great thing when we can 
turn to dad for advice and certainly honor him this weekend. Thanks everyone. We love when you chime in. Please leave your comments on the bus topic each morning on Facebook and we may even read yours right here on the show. You can also like and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. All of those are easily found at the Roadshow. For now, a dad himself, Mr. Will Gilbert's in and the kitchen.